Hey guys, April Fool's Day. Bad news. Uh, the, the, the prank, the hoax, the joke, the April Fool's Day joke has been canceled. At least on my end. Because I want to make a, a video about the importance of social distancing. As a YouTube content creator who has several followers. And I thank you by the way for being one of those people. Uh, I decided to skip the prank, skip the hoaxes this year. Um... And talk about the importance of social distancing because we really are facing something very serious right now with this whole coronavirus thing. The problem is that my two buddies up here who were in on this, this whole hoax, this joke, this prank, didn't read their emails this morning or didn't listen to their voicemails because they showed up and they're up here in costume anyway. So what we're faced with is the challenge of going up there and saying, Hey, you guys, it's been canceled. You're not supposed to be leaving your house and coming to mine. Go back to your property. I'm staying on mine. Sure, I'm mowing grass here in the fruit orchard, uh, which you've never seen on video before. This is the first time I've actually put it on video. Um, but I got to tell them, go home, and we're not going to get close. I'm going to take you with me because I'm going to, I mean, I'm not going to force them to apologize. I'm going to say, come on, guys, tell our watchers, our viewers, how important social distancing is. This is not a joke. We're taking this very seriously, so much so that we've canceled our April Fool's Day hoax slash prank slash joke for the day, okay? We practiced it. Okay, the guys have their suits. They're, they're, they actually were supposed to meet up there around the... Um, the receiver of the ultimate contraption behind one of the firewood piles and start, you know, dancing along the, the wood line like they're potentially Bigfoot Sasquatch watching me mow grass. Okay, but the thing was, they were supposed to watch me mow grass down in our, what we call our man-made forest, which is on the other end of the property. So I decided to mow our fruit orchard here. We planted 36 variously assorted fruit trees here last year to give the gift that keeps on giving to the potential Bigfoot Sasquatch that may or may not live in the forest behind our home. Oh, I'm shaking a little bit. Let me hold that still. My, you can see my friends up there. Look, I never come out unarmed. People are always like, how do you go anywhere on that property without being armed? I don't. Look, I'm prepared. You can see my buddies weaving in and out of the forest line right here, if you watch closely, if you get my six, which is not supposed to be going on today. They didn't check their emails. They didn't get their voicemail. I left them both a voicemail. Left them explicit emails saying we are skipping the the prank, the hoax this year. We're not doing it because we have got to not just practice social distancing, but as YouTube content creators, we have got to show. I mean, put uh, what they say it. Put your money where your mouth is. We've got to talk about the importance of this. Staying in our homes, staying on our own properties, staying away from other people outside of our immediate families, at least until this passes. So anyway, I know they're up there. I can see them. I, ca I never come out here without my optics. I always bring at least one optic and... Yep. Okay, so they should have their stuff, their backpacks and all this stuff piled up behind a wood pile up there. We're going to go up there and from a very safe distance, tell them, go home. Okay, let's do it next year. Now, here's something that's really cool we've never done before, not at least for a long time. I'm going to give you like a virtual reality tour of the fruit orchard and the trail on the way up there. I'm going to show you the pond. Maybe we'll see some fish. Who knows what else we might show you, but my buddies in costume are not supposed to be up there. If you're going to continue to watch this thinking you're going to see two guys jump out in costume, uh, it's been canceled. It's been called off. But I see them. I don't know how this is going to go, so let's just head up there and see if we can have a talk with these guys. Oh, virtual reality. This is awesome. What do you call this? POV. All right, look at that. There's our evergreen privacy heads we planted. Look at these. 36 fruit trees all lined out for him here in the day. Right here below the pond. Got some indigenous American plums. 
Their roots suck up water like crazy. This is always a wet, moist area down here, so that's going to be a big help. There's a weeping willow tree that we rooted ourselves and put here in the corner of the pond since they love water so much. Let's see if we see any fish in the past. I think the glare is not way. There those guys are. You see them? Awesome. They think that they did not get their emails. They did not get their voicemails. They are weaving in and out of the trees. Right there is one standing right there in the middle. Like this is still on. But we are not doing the potential Bigfoot Sasquatch April Fool's prank slash hoax. Because we are practicing social distancing and as content creators we are pushing the importance of social distancing during these times. Last week my son and I planted another little food orchard here. Eight more indigenous, that's the old pump right there by the way, one of the original pumps of this house it's over a hundred and some odd years old. There's our garden. Alright. We're going to go up here and call these cats out. Anybody who is unnecessarily leaving their home, I mean, if you need food, water, medicine, something like that, I mean, I, emergencies happen. But coming out here to pull a prank on a bunch of people watching YouTube is not an emergency. Look at that beautiful eastern red bud tree. Isn't that beautiful? It's all crooked, growing crooked, but I've never cut it down because it's so gorgeous. There's a dogwood in bloom, isn't it beautiful? Alright, so these guys are supposed to be up here with the backpacks. Alright, Houston, it appears as if we have a problem. I'm not seeing any backpacks. I'm seeing more beautiful eastern redbud trees. And we all saw that bipedaled individual standing right here when we were about 100 yards down the hill. And now it appears him, her, it, or they are no longer there. So, I guess it's my buddies out here. Did you see that? He's hiding behind a tree. Let me flip the phone. All right. So the the thick just plottened. It appears as if my buddies are not here. Their stuff's not here. I guess I just now only thought to think of the fact that their cars would probably be parked down there at the end of my driveway had they shown up. So I guess they did check their voicemails and their emails this morning. So now the question becomes who or what has been weaving in and out of these, these woods? Ugh. It appears as if my friends did get the message. It appears as if the April Fool's Day joke may be on me. Oh no. Look at that. This Bigfoot Sasquatch April Fool's Day prank is going terribly wrong. These aren't my friends up here. Well, guys, it appears as if there is no prank or no hoax or no joke going on here, just to like I had intended, which is good, but I heard footsteps. Guys, put in earbuds, rewind and listen, and I promise I won't yell. 
Hold on, let me turn the camera. I'm gonna zoom. It looks like there's something right there behind us. Well, <clears throat> surprise, surprise, we appear to be surrounded. Oh, jeez, oh, why do they? I think he, she, it, or they might have been upset because they thought I was taking the day off and not coming up here and spend any time with them. So let's sit here for a few minutes. I pretty much have the phone centered in the area where we've been seeing movement. This is straight back into the woods from where it appeared as if I thought my two buddies were up here anyway. Dressed up in Bigfoot costumes, getting ready to jump out and say, ha ha, April's Fools. April Fool's Day at the very end of the video, which they're not gonna do because they're not here after all. So I'm going to talk to you about this whole coronavirus thing here for just a second. This is merely my opinion. These are my opinions. I'm not a medical person. I'm not a scientist. I ain't a scientist. You know that. Keep getting my six. Um, I've had one suspicion confirmed through this or ordeal something I've always kind of thought and then number two and, I, and people are going to hate hearing both of these things and I'm not trying to offend anybody everybody uh, to each his own yeah everybody has the right to live the way in which they want to live as long as they're not hurting others or you know hurting themselves um, in my opinion okay but here's two things I'm going to talk about number one prepping and number two faith in humanity the restoring of faith in humanity okay the prepping thing uh we're a homesteading channel you know homesteading off the grid and we raise a lot of our own food or grow it um we've had various livestock in the past off and on when him her it or they don't eat them Wow, went right back behind that tree. We'll see them when they come back around. Ah! Hold on, God. Oh, God, I gotta move. I can't stay here. Ah! Oh. I'm not moving, guys. I'm staying here. You know what I did? I just moved around to the other side of that tree very slowly. So you keep watching my six and no matter how much they want to flash this, I'm not moving. There's something out here. I heard a growl and it's not my friends. Those guys are not here. And that's a new X. Keep getting my six. Okay, so I, I am serious about this whole, you know, uh, YouTube's been sending out messages and saying, hey, you know, if you've got a decent sized channel and you can reach some people, do us a solid and talk about social distancing and all this stuff. I know I come on here and I joke around a lot. And uh, I've said we practice social distancing anyway. I mean, we chose to live way out in the middle of nowhere. We chose to live out here for a reason. It's not that we're anti-social. 
We like people. Some of them. Because if we want to be social, we go to a social event. We go to a social gathering like a game or we'll invite people over. You know, pe like real friends. We ask them to come over. We'll set something up. But we like to be left alone when we're at home. That's why we live out in the middle of nowhere. However, it appears as if we bought a place where, as you've seen so many times for yourself and as you've been seeing today, we're never really alone. I'm going to start doing a little bit of a slow pan. There's some stuff going on back here. Potentially. Of course, it's thicker to see, harder to see back in there. Let's go over here. Okay, so, but seriously, here, here's my take on this. I, I don't think it's hard to just kind of keep your distance, especially if you know it's better for other people. Um, my wife's a millennial. They're not bulletproof. A lot of millennials are catching this thing too. Um, I'm a Gen Xer, but I'm very, very healthy. I mean, I know I kind of look like a slob, but believe it or not, off camera, I do take care of myself. I don't do drugs. I don't drink alcohol. I don't use tobacco products. And I exercise regularly, as well as I live a very active lifestyle with all the homesteading type activities I do out here. But that doesn't make me bulletproof either. Okay, I know that if you're healthier, if you're fit, supposedly you, your chances are better. Listen, there used to be this comedian guy. I think his name was Larry the Cable Guy. His, his moniker was, you just can't fix stupid. Well, listen, you just can't overcome stupidity either. Is my wife a millennial? Yes. Is our son under 18? Yes. Am I very fit and active for my age? Yes. Are we stupid? Don't answer that. But the answer is no, okay? If experts are saying that it's best for us to kind of keep to ourselves, stay, I mean, kind of live the way we live anyway. Um, but, uh, you know, there are some things we do like to go out and do that do involve going out and being around other people. We're not doing those things, okay? I just, I personally don't think it's that hard to, I mean, it sucks that, oh, it's really terrible that basketball season ended. I hated that. I was hoping the Cavaliers would pull off another victory but instead here's what you do you look for the good and the bad here's the good about that okay the ncaa tournament was canceled our defending national champions the uva cavaliers didn't get to go defend their title okay well here's the good news next year when basketball season starts again guess what for the second year in a row the U university of virginia cavaliers will be the defending national champions for the second year in a row even though they didn't win this year. They didn't even have to win this year because the tournament was canceled for them to still be the second second year in a row defending national champions. That's a first. This is the first time in history that any NCAA basketball team got to be defending national champions two years in a row and only having had to have won the national championship once. So that's how you do it. You socially distance. You stay away. You cancel the basketball season for the safety of everybody involved. And then as a Cavaliers fan, you get bragging rights for eternity. That your school is the only one to ever get to be a two-time defending national champion, only having had to win the national championship once. Guys, let's look for the good and the bad. There's plenty of it out there if you think like Crazy Lake. I don't think him, her, it, or they thought that was funny. So, this too shall pass. In the grand scheme of things, however many you know weeks or months, we all have to kind of stay in a little more than we like to and keep to ourselves. This too shall pass. Hopefully it passes in time for UVA football in the fall. But if not, well... Someone or something is walking down there below me. Could it be my two friends in their Bigfoot Sasquatch suits getting ready to jump out and yell April Fools? Or could it be the real thing? You ready? Here comes the grand finale. If you've watched this long, you deserve to know the truth.
Thanks for joining us for another episode of the PBS. S. The potential Bigfoot Sasquatch. Stay away from everybody, at least for a while. That includes you two up there. Show.